What is going on guys, welcome to a new video. So today then I'm gonna be showing you how to pick winning products to sell using Facebook ads. Now there's a reason why I'm emphasizing Facebook ads and that's purely because whether you're trying to sell a product using Google AdWords or Instagram influencers or on Facebook then, different products are gonna sell differently on different platforms. So today the focus is on Facebook ads purely because most people watching this channel then are interested in Facebook, if not already spending money on Facebook. So if you do want a video on either of the other ones, so Google AdWords or Instagram, all you've got to do then is leave a comment down below. So I've been talking to a lot of you guys on Instagram recently and in the one-to-one -one calls actually, and it seems like the number one difficulty people have seem to be having is choosing that one winning product. So anybody can do pretty decent product research. There's tons and tons of great videos out there on YouTube. However, if you have say 10 different products, then how do you know which one is gonna sell the best on Facebook? And that's exactly what the topic of this video is gonna be all about. We're gonna be going through then the criteria of what makes a good product for Facebook, and I'm gonna be showing you some product examples on AliExpress as well. So that being said then guys, that's the topic. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and let's get straight into it. What's going on then guys, welcome to my computer. So let's jump straight into this then actually and the number one thing then to when it comes to picking winning products for Facebook is connection. Now what I mean by connection is that when your audience sees your product that they have some sort of connection with it and I'm gonna be running through the different ones uh, in a second in the video um, but basically when they see your ad then and see your product it makes them want to stop, watch your video ad, have a look at your image, read the text, essentially see exactly what who you are and what your product is, and ultimately then click on your ad and go to your Shopify store. So obviously targeting is gonna be important in this because unless you, if you're not showing your product to the right audience, then obviously they're not gonna be interested. So an extreme example would be, say you're selling a dog product and you're trying to advertise it to people who love cats. People tend to be dog lovers or cat lovers. So if you try and sell a dog product to a cat lover, the chances are they're not even gonna notice what your product is. You could probably ask that same person like 30 seconds later what they thought to your product and they probably wouldn't even remember seeing it so that's an extreme example but hopefully you kind of get the idea um, so targeting is obviously key and very very important however this video is actually going to be about picking the products themselves so how do you actually create a connection with the audience and the number one way then is an emotional connection as it says there in brackets it is the strongest way which is absolutely hands down if you can get somebody to emotionally connect feel some sort of emotion when they see your product then and they're pretty much gonna sell the product to themselves. And even better, what they're gonna do is they're gonna share your ad. They're gonna share it to their newsfeed and all their friends are gonna see it or they're at least gonna tag somebody because if they feel strongly about something, they're gonna to wanna to tell or show other people. And the more people they do that with, then the better because obviously the more organic reach we get, essentially we're, we're getting more and more impressions for our products, for our ad uh, for free. So. Point one then, the strongest emotions are those felt with the heart. You'll hear a lot of people talk about it. It's called emotional selling and emotions that are typically people would say are felt with the heart then are things like love, joy, happiness, things like that. And this is why then the adverts that show somebody smiling, having a good time using your product work so well. By an absolute mile, the best way to sell any product is to show somebody having a good time using your product. So a good example then of how people use this would be say car adverts. You've probably seen car adverts on TV. Very, very, very rarely you'll just see like a walk around of the car or the car driving around, the chances are you'll see actually see somebody driving the car, smiling, have a good time, or other people seeing the car and smiling at it or taking pictures of it. It's just the best way to sell. So a good example then, or product example of this, of using emotional selling on Facebook would be, I've got a couple of products to show you here. Number one is this baby product here. Now there's a couple of reasons why this works so well. It's because people love to see kids having a laugh and having a good time for obvious reasons. So putting an image, even, even using this image for example, um, it's just gonna command attention. People are gonna see it and seeing that kid laughing, having a good time, it's gonna strike up an emotion within within the viewer and within your audience. Same goes for this one here as well. As you can see, there's a couple of kids there smiling, having a good time using this product. And especially if you target mothers or new parents that have, that have babies or kids of similar age and they see these kids having a good time using this product, straight away they're gonna wanna see their own kids having a good time using this product as well and therefore they're more likely to buy it if that makes sense. The chances are as well that 
people tend to have friends of similar generations to themselves so they probably know somebody else who's a new parent as well so again it comes in handy for sharing your post um, and tagging other people and building that organic reach number two then solution so you have to solve an important as it says in their bold it has to solve an important problem in someone's life because if it's not important enough then again they're not really going to be interested they might see your product and think yeah that's pretty cool but it's not enough for them to command their attention at the end of the day people are on facebook remember to socialize they're on there to talk to their friends see what their friends are up to or watch a cat play the piano they're not there to spend money so unless it's it's really important then they're just not going to be interested so again then I've got a couple of product examples just to kind of illustrate my point um, number one then is this toilet roll holder thing here as you can see it's got over two and a half thousand orders so it's it's it must be a decent product it must be a popular product but I challenge anybody to try and sell this successfully on Facebook because it's just a boring product as good as it is and it does solve a problem it's just boring people like I said people are on Facebook to be entertained um, they're not on there to look at just boring products like this now if you want to prove me wrong by all means feel free go out test this product and make sure you come back let me know what kind of um, results you get because as you can see it's got good reviews it's got a decent amount of orders it's obviously does the job well enough but in terms of advertising this on product on on Facebook then I just don't believe it's going to fit very well and then on the flip side of this the typical example the LED dog color for obvious reasons then it provides a clear solution to quite a big problem that people who own dogs have um, especially this time of year then when it's kind of dark when they wake up in the morning they might have to walk their dog before work and when they get home from work it's dark by five o'clock they might have no choice but to walk their dog in the dark so they need a way of keeping their dog safe at night and it kind of ties in with point number one which is emotional people want to keep people really care about their dogs and so they should so they want to keep them safe so it's kind of emotional as well and it kind of links into point number three as well which is easier so make someone's life a lot easier and as you can see it says in bold there again a lot there's some key words in all of these and that's because that they have to have an impact on your it has it ultimately comes back to having a connection with your audience and it has to be a strong connection you can't just make somebody's life a bit easier or provide a solution to such a small problem like this um, toilet roll holder here it has to be big it has to be bold it has to be enough for somebody to take the time out of their day to actually stop on your Facebook ad and look at your product so again I've got another product example to show you guys here I don't know you might have seen this one before um, I know it sold really really well for quite a few people as you can see it's got nearly a thousand orders and it provides quite a clear problem and again it kind of links in with number one which is that emotional which is the strongest one people who have kids really really care about about their kids and their safety they want to keep them safe so and this product does it, it stops them from falling off a chair and hurting themselves and it provides point number three which is make someone's life a lot easier it means they can put their their kid or their toddler in a chair and they don't have to worry about them falling out essentially another reason then why this product works so well as well is because when it comes to marketing obviously you've got a kid here um, having a good time laughing um, again another one there so it just it almost pretty pretty much plays on every single point which obviously the more of these that you can combine into one product then the better chance you have of that actual winning product and then moving on to the fourth I believe fourth and final point which is increased perceived status so if somebody sees your product everybody likes to look good in front of their friends their family um, and do well if that makes sense um, and this is like the four oh, I had to include it because it's still relevant but it's probably the least important one or the least likely that you're going to use uh, when choosing products because ultimately it pretty much comes down to branding so somebody who will feel better um, about themselves and about how other people perceive them about using and having your product then the ch it increases their chances of wanting your product for example so things like a Rolex then everybody who wears a Rolex probably feels pretty good wearing a Rolex they want their friends to see them wearing a Rolex and it, it makes a statement same thing with the latest trainers it's the reason why people have 50 pairs of trainers because they want the latest ones they want people to see them wearing the latest ones um, and wearing them makes them feel good as well and the kind of final point then that I've put there is branding. So this all comes down to branding. Like I said, unless you've got a really established brand that people buy into and people 
like feel good and important about your brand and actually representing your brand, then that's the only chance you have of pretty much playing on this last factor. So that being said then guys, there are my four points to picking winning products for Facebook. As I said at the beginning, this is really, really, really important that you understand everything I've spoken about. Um, any questions whatsoever, I wanna make sure you guys understand this as much as possible because it just, it will increase your chances of picking that winning product for Facebook just tenfold. So any questions whatsoever, leave a comment down below, reach out in any of my social medias, all the links are in the description. And that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up. If you're still watching thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one